Hello everyone. Today is May 11. It's Mocha Studio Day. I haven't been vlogging too much because we've been super super busy with other family things happening. So I decided to today kind of share with you a little bit of what's been happening for the last week. Mocha seems to be just fine. She still has her ligaments. She hasn't dropped, even though today's her due date. And yes, we haven't put together the feeder yet. Although I did get this one, uh, but they go through it very, very fast. I just put it here for extra, and um, it's going to go eventually into that stall over there. But I need to do a few other things in there. Um, Athene is finally starting to get along with the twins. So they're kind of playing together. Uh, when they start fighting, that's when you know that they are starting to be friends. <laughs> Athene is non... I mean, she doesn't like to fight or anything, but it's the funniest thing that she is trying to follow the leader now and in this case Gaia is her <laughs> Gaia is her friend oh, oh, oh there she comes hi Athene hi sweet girl were you playing with your what are they half sisters no they're your nieces goodness gracious your sweet girl hi sweet girl I uh, even like the way scratched. Okay. The worms will scratch the girlies. Hi. Hi, sweet mama. Hi, you wanna say hi to the camera? Say hi. My name is Athene. And I am a beautiful girl. Hi. Is your name Beautiful Gaia? Hi, Beautiful Gaia. My Greek goddesses. Yes, these two. She's like, Grandson, I'd rather get the pets from you than fight with those girls. But they're supposed to be your friends, okay? So, Mocha do, Mocha's due date is today, but last night when I came to feed at night, I found that she lost her mucus plug. And I honestly have been putting off separating her but I think it's a good practice at least in my experience with my goats to separate you know a couple of nights before they kid if you know it's not a surprise kidding kind of thing hi what are you doing uh, see that's what I'm saying she's probably a little bit stressed out because I had to separate her but I think it's better to do it earlier than not do it and have them stress while they're having their baby. So, go get some pellets and get everyone out. So, last night I cleaned the barn and I put a lot of straw on her side. And today I'm gonna do a couple of modifications to it because we're going to be away for a weekend soon. So I'm gonna have to trust kids to do chores and I wanted to make it super simple. So, you know, especially with Mocha and her kids being in that stall. Mocha's bag. <laughs> She's so uncomfortable as she walks. Oh, Claire. Hi. You're okay. That puppy, she is a screamer, huh? Isn't she a screamer, that puppy? You can go with your friends if you want. Let me clean your eye. You have hay. There you go. You can go with your friends. Or you can hang out with me. Yes. You want to be with me? Okay. Oh, I'll give you all the pets. Time is 
almost definitely will give you all the pets. Ah, you're such a beautiful girl. And I still wonder where you are and if you beautiful girl with your daddy's eyes. The cutest eyelashes. Ooh. So beautiful. So sweet. Oh, mm. you want to be scratched? Okay, you can do that. If this was uh, the twins, the twins would have been sucking on my finger within a few seconds. She is not. It's okay. It's a puppy. I got you. You want to come and sit with me or what is it that you need? You want to sit on my lap? Oh, you're eating something. Okay. That is good. We love Goldie that eating something. You need a bath girlfriend. She fell in the mud yesterday. <laughs> she fell on her side. And now she's all dirty. Now you're all dirty, girlfriend. Hmm. This big belly. I love the big bellies. Yes, yes, I do. And I was telling you guys about this patio that we were building, well, that we built for the goats. But now that we know that we like it and that it works really, really well, and it keeps smells at bay because, you know, when you clean the barn that something always sticks to the ground and then you have a lot of um, straw around the door of the barn. Well, this patio, we basically can throw everything on top and then sweep it and pick it up. Put it in a wheelbarrow, move it wherever we want. So because of that, we are redoing it. I don't know if you can see it right there, but we're going towards that side. You can come sit on me if you want. I feel like you're just trying to. And we removed those from there. I guess we're going to try to follow some kind of a pattern here and finish it. And hopefully all this area right there that you see with straw, that will be covered and it will be a nice patio for the girls. Now I considered kind of putting a, a covered area there. like putting a little roof over it so they can hang out here during the rain and they don't have to be necessarily inside if they don't want to but the only problem I see with that is this is the part with the most sun because on in the back there's always shade I mean there's a little bit of sun but there's always shade and I feel like that way we're kind of taking away the sun from them and they like to hang out here at the door with the sun in the summer. So I'm not sure if we're gonna cover this patio or not. Come hang out with me right here if you want, if you want. Oh, you want to be, you want to be with Grams, Gaia? You want to? I cannot eat my eyelashes. Hello, Bri Bri. Hey. You look so cute, baby. You look so cute, baby. You have a big belly. Big belly, big belly, big belly, big belly. I think the boys are gonna be pretty upset. You have teeth down there? Hi, you have teeth. Hi! I'm always scared because they do that. I'm trying to get them used to of me touching their teeth. Because they will be mothers soon. Oh, you will be a mother soon too. Well, not real, real soon, but yes, you will be a mother one day. But right now, you're a baby girl. And you know what happens to baby girls? 
they get all the love they get all the love and all the kisses oh my goodness how much we love the baby goats how much we love baby goats oh not clara clara is not a baby goat clara is a mother a naughty mother I am I am letting Athene stay on Clara because we're gonna be away for a weekend and I really don't want to have somebody come and milk and she is still nursing <laughs> but uh, she's producing more than she should oh no way you're doing that Clara you're gross go go find your mama go find your mama go drink milk she grows. She decided, and then when I come back, then we will milk twice a day. Eh? Come here, girlfriend. Come here. Come here. Unless you want to go eat hay. If you want to go eat hay, you could. I'm not saying you shouldn't, but I'm gonna give you some snuggles before I go to boys. Cause boys are hungry. They want their breakfast. You're so pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah. It's so, 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 so pretty. You have pretty eyes, pretty nose, pretty ears, pretty forehead. Do you even have one? Pretty neck. And you have a cute kitty color. It's a breakaway color, so we have to fix it with a little redneck fixing. So used to being in front of the camera, she's not scared of it anymore. We're like, is that a beautiful mirror where I can see myself? Yes, it is. And then all the people can look at the thing and say, hi, how pretty is that girly? How pretty is that girl? Can you see all? This is all mud. Uh, so I'm gonna give her a nice bath. And I'm gonna dry her hair and I'm gonna comb it. I'm gonna put some DE to prevent any lice or anything. Oh my goodness, you're so pretty, girlfriend. And I think it's gonna help her with her um, shedding. She's shedding a lot. You have some berries stuck to your leg, girlfriend. Oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Did that hurt? I didn't mean it to hurt on my beautiful Gordy. It's okay. Your little Gordy. It's in the mud, but it's affecting my core. Do you hate the mud? I hate it too. That makes two of us. I think you're pretty. Very, very pretty. Last night separating was kind of interesting because the twins are used to sleeping with their mom. And because of that, it was kind of loud when I first separated them. I wanted to give her a full stall so she could rest have extra room to spread if she wants to, move around if she's not comfortable, have enough food that she can eat whatever she wants by herself. And I feel like by doing that a couple of days before the actual due date or before she has her babies, I should say, that helps a lot calming them before it's time to be inside the kidding pen for kidding. So that's pretty much where we are right now. They're still there. Hi, babies. Hi, loves. Hi, babies in belly. Hi, babies in belly. Hi. Oh, guys, like, who are you talking to? Where are the babies? Not any babies. Honey, babies are right here. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Excuse you, excuse you, excuse you.
you. Bye. White load. Mm.